Hello, everyone. Welcome back to episode six of Turing Hello. Complete. Um, before we get started, I have a bit of an announcement, uh, an unfortunate announcement. Um, as you may have noticed already, uh, videos have been slowing down. And that is because, one, I've been on vacation, so I wasn't here. Uh, but two, university starting back up again, meaning I will have less time for video, uh, video making. So I'm not sure when this video releases. Uh, I know that episode four of this series released while I was on vacation. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what, what the, the timeline is for future videos, but it's going to be slower. And I can't really do anything about that because university is important. Um, anyway, uh, so that I just qu quickly wanted to mention that uh, videos are slowing down. Uh, I'll do my best, but university is important, um, so I can't make any promises. That being said, let's get into today's video. I haven't really done that much research for this video. I have researched the next puzzle, and that's about it. So, yeah, I, I haven't improved anything per se. Uh, I've improved a bit of no my knowledge uh, to realize that this is not the most efficient way to make a, 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 a multiplexer. <laughs> but I'm not going to show you how Right. What is until we run into a new multiplexer? So it looks pretty compact. It is, but it's not the it's not it's not the best. Yeah. I I I'm, I'm on my on my laptop on my laptop I built I built an an eight bit multiplexer and it is clean. Oh, it is. Gotta show me that it is time. gorgeous. Um. Uh, let's get into the next uh, uh puzzle. All right, we are here in Turing Complete, and now we go to the bus. This level has two byte inputs and two byte outputs. Your goal is to copy from one of the inputs to one of the outputs. The first bit input yeah. determines which input you should copy from, and the second bit determines which output you should copy to. Well, this is, this is really not that difficult. I have four switches, and I have two knot gates. That's yeah. that's all I have for this for this puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I have wires. All right. Uh, let's. No. Oh, no. No. Not get rid of those. All right. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of those. So uh, this one, I think. Yeah, that one's the input. So that one determines which one, uh, which input I should grab. And then this one is the output. So that determines which output I should grab. To, or like to to which output it should go. So a switch basically just uh, outputs the wh whatever signal it gets if the enable is on. So um, let's see. From um, I'm guessing that it wants me to say that this one is on by default, and then this one is on if the input is on. So you have address zero and address one, I guess. Um, so that would mean that I use the not gate here, uh, right there. Like that. So input that one and that one. Then I run both of these into the same line. And now because this one is on, it's outputting whatever I uh, I would fill in in this one. So I fill in four and I fill in like 32 there. Then the output is 32. Because this one is not allowed to propagate, but this one is. Um, I am explaining this to the audience, not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm listening. Along. Okay, cool. So then we need to determine which to which output should it go. And that's determined by this one. So again, I'm going to assume that zero means this one and one means that one. So that means that, again, we have two switches, so I can just place a switch here and a switch there. And that is not lined up. I I hate this. There we go. Um, connect these up. And obviously, it's not getting an input right now, so um, it'll be fine. There we go. Now I've used every component. So this one outputs, and it outputs zero. And what it outputs is just whatever is outputted here. So now it should copy uh, from input zero to output zero. So whatever I fill in for this input 
will be propagated to that output. And then if I were to say, uh, let's let's give this one a different value, uh, 16, sure. Um, if I then um, <clears throat> say I want from the other input, then it changes to 16. And if I want to route it to the other output, then there you go. So that's that's the puzzle. Run it. There we go. Done. And there I go. First one complete. Beautiful. Perfect let's space. let's do this in uh, in Minecraft. Okay. Uh, Four switches and two knobs. Um. Mm -hmm. To give ourselves enough space, I'm going to put. Uh, We're going to have a vertical input for this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, it was white. Eight. Yep. Uh, top to bottom or bottom to top? Uh, bottom to top. Top is 128. No, in this case it wouldn't matter too much, but... Uh, okay, and then we just need maybe to move this up to the side. Ah, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, let's move it over to the side, actually. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right, and let's make the in over here. So that we have plenty of space to, to play around with. So now we're going to need a bunch of levers everywhere. Okay, well, this is uh, pretty simple. Uh, step one, let's route yeah. the... Uh, What's the second input? Uh, what you, uh, that's what I literally just said. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah, worry about that one later when, oh, we've oh built, when we're building the, the next switches. So if you remember, a switch hmm. is not that one. <laughs> uh, do we have a switch? We do, right? Bit switch. We shoot. Where is it? Is it this? Oh, it's over here. This one. Yeah, okay. So, we just route everything into the side of a comparator. And then the, uh, the allowing of propagation is uh, determined by whether or not we flick the lever. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Also, why don't we just put the output on top of the input? What? No, oh. Why not just Be conveniently? Uh, put because it's in. not very convenient, presumably. I, I just want to make sure that we, hmm. that we do the smart. That sounds like a hassle. Yeah, but we'll we'll see that later. All right, <laughs> we'll we'll worry about it later. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we want that it, we want it to copy the left one if the lever is upward. So if this is off, then we want it to copy from here. So I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna <clears throat> put repeaters there so that the signal strength is always going to be fifty. Do you want to do it on the second input? Uh, we'll worry about that in a second. Uh, I do realize maybe we didn't give ourselves enough space in between the bytes, but we'll worry about that in a second. Um, then I'm going to need glass. And actually, red glass would be good. There we go. Okay. Um, so again, this has to be off. Um, so if I just do this... this work? Uh, maybe. No, it does not. Okay. Oh, no. Does that reach? Um, probably not. If I do this in a 
give it a repeater. It does. Perfectly. Mind you. Well. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, sick. Okay, that's kind of clean. That is clean. All right, nice. Uh, then we want to invert the signal, obviously, for the other side. Um, so I'll, I will do just that. All right, then we won't have the same contraption yeah. set up there. Uh, oh, we do have enough space. Perfect. So, again... Uh, actually, I'm just going to copy-paste this over. Just paste. There we go. How do we get in there? Um, oh, this is actually really funny. Uh, one sec. Uh, switch to the right one. Yep, there Torch? We uh, no. We've already inverted the signal. That would not be helpful. Also, mind you, this won't really work. Why? Yeah, oh! Wait, you can put a repeater there. Yeah. I keep forgetting you can run them into blocks. There we go. So, now we can successfully select which one we want. So, if I were to input 32 here and 64 here, then as you can see, only one of them is allowed to propagate, and that is currently the left one. And then if I flick the lever, then... This, these are all off, these comparators. And on the right, we only have this one on. So, uh, now we take all of these, these outputs. And uh, we'll just extend them a little bit. So, we've uh, made an 8-bit switch. And now we combine the inputs. Let's not do it like that. Okay. One second. Sure. I'll just uh, wire it together. And back. Cool. There we go. Now, as you can see, because I've selected the right output, only this line is on. So, from here, uh, we should probably take a repeater output. so that all the signals are strong enough. There we go. And that is the first set of uh, two-bit switches with the NOT gate. So now we just basically copy-paste this over. So I'm just gonna literally copy-paste it over. Yeah, so this one does not activate because we haven't selected the left output. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but here, if you would cool. flick it, then it does work. Cool, simple system, but... It's very simple. Works very nice. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna copy-paste this. And I'm gonna paste it, like, here. Perfect. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah. then we... Should we just put it on top of this? Sorry? Like, like input-output? Where? Where? Uh, oh yeah, that should be doable, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I knew it. So we just route this to the appropriate lines, like this. And then that will determine... Uh, we don't uh, connect this up this time. And I think it'll be nice to... Uh, wire this to an output screen over here next to our inputs so that we can easily see that it works. Excellent. And then we want to just uh, move it over to the screen. Um, yeah, we're going to do this uh, slightly differently, actually. Oh. Um, so we are going to take, first of all, the outputs over here. Uh, because the way we flip it around, right? Um, 
if we flip this as such and have the output screens like here. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Got it. Then it needs to be flipped. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, small issue. There we go. Fixed. Okay. That should work. Um, out. So the left column is output on? Uh, no, the left is output off. So like output A. No. What do you mean? Do you notice how the lever is flicked off? And yeah, therefore and the left output is on? The left side. I see. So this is output off and this is output on. I had eyes but refused to see. Um, on. There we go. Okay. So I can now change it. Oh, beautiful. I'll quickly change this. So it's four. And then if I want to read the other input, there we go than I can. And now let's say I want to read it for a different output. Bam, there we go. Now it works on that thing. That is beautiful. Nice. All right, so it works. This thing is really quite simple. It's really not that bad. It looks like a lot of wiring. That's just because there's a lot of a lot of information that's going through. But this is this is a beautiful contraption. I love yeah. this. So now the green is the actual switch. And I should probably include this into the switch as well. Perfect. This is a clean contraption. Love it. Oh, you built a little platform. Oh my god. I'm building a little platform. This thing is beautiful. I love this. That's why I want to give it a little platform as well. All right, sick. This is this is like a proper contraption. This is sick. All right, onwards. onwards Saving onwards. bytes. This is gonna be fun. Create a circuit that can save or load a byte. When the first input bit is load, the memory uh, uh, load the memory and send it uh, to output. Uh, when the second input bit is on, save the input byte. The output has an enable pin. Enable it only on load. Okay. That's one is done. Okay, so input one is load. So that one should be connected to there. All right. Um, so, saving bytes. How do we save a byte? We use a one-bit memory eight times. <laughs> one, Jeez. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. This was the first puzzle that I did not use wiring on. You mean that? Oh my god, why? I. What is wrong with I, you? I shall send you the monstrosity that I've oh created all next time. I don't know how I've done this. Okay. Uh, this feels bad to look go. at. Okay, you, you got a solution down. Could, could you like look at this real quick? Send me the picture. I'm scared. Okay, here, here we go. Wh oh God, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh my God. Put it up on screen if you're discretion. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll put it in the video, don't worry. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this for load. I'm going to use this for save. So I need to enable this. Um, save enable. So this has to... I'm, I'm just going to... Move this here. Flip it. What was wrong with me that day? 
I don't know. The, the next it, puzzles it are me. all like perfectly managed as well. You were just off that day. Yeah, that that one puzzle just stroke me the wrong way. I don't know why I'm taking so much space. I, I really don't need it. Just gonna move it in a little bit. Okay. Um, now I need the load. Okay, that just, it just sucks. Okay, great. There we go. Um, and now I need to route all the different... Oh my god. What? There we go. That's it. Perfect. So, as you can see, if I if I say uh, load, then it will save whatever value. Uh, let's say I want to save one, sure. Then it will save one. And then if I say uh, if I say load and don't save, then the next step it will output the what. Oh, what? Okay, well, that's the, the puzzle. So, uh... Yay. We got an 8-bit register! Okay. There you go. Perfect. Alright, let's do this in Minecraft. Perfect. Um... Yeah, okay. Uh A save is green, right? Sure. I feel like that that makes sense. So, uh, this probably looks quite familiar. Like that. Um. There we go. This is wrong. Think. Ooh. Imagine that. I know. Okay. There we go. Uh, could you place a button on this lamp? Thank you. Of course. What kind of button do you want? Just a button, I don't know, don't care. Button. Message received. Oh, wait. We now have a mangrove button. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so that's the save button. Um, and then we want to be able to load it. Do you know it. that pufferfish video? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well. Is it just me or does that sound like? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> I'll include it in my video. It does not sound like it. Um, okay, and then it, above it, it's we like can... a more compressed version of it. I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, above it, we can just say load. Do we you want that to also uh, be a button? As well? I don't. I'm uh, not sure. Do we want the out output to like flash, or do we want the output to be consistent as long as the load instruction is inputted? Consistent. Okay, then uh, lever. Uh, load will be. Wait, shouldn't it save it though? Sorry. If it saves the output instruction, then we could still use a button. It just needs to save it. What? What are you talking about? The save is a button. Yeah, but the load. The load. Right. What about the load? We could have that. B button too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then we just save that redstone signal. What do you mean? Um. I mean, we could with like with a T flip flop. Yeah, that's what you want. And then we just need to make it um, alternate every time that we press not, button. That's not right there. We are going to put the load right here, so that's easier. Tristan, <laughs> what? Tristan, Tristan, stop, 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 stop. What? <laughs> this is not. <laughs> Walk to the front. What's wrong? With this? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> valid point, valid point. I was looking at that, I was like, oh no. <laughs> uh, so this is the safe. This is the load. You should really be careful with phrasing. Signs have been placed. How can I help you? Alright, um, so I'm doing this. Can you help build a glass tower? Right here. So again, do we want to use a button that goes into like, do we want this load instruction to be a lever where it's just on as long as it's flicked or do we want it to be like the button where it just is a short, a short pulse? Can't we take the input that we create with a button, save that and alternate it on each click? Yes, a T flip flop. Yeah, yeah, T flip flop, basically making a lever. But then it's just more OCD friendly since both have a bomb. Um, yep. There we go. And now we just need to route all this to the output. There we go. Why is the bell? It's not a button. It's a copper bulb. Uh. So it it receives a redstone update or like a, a redstone pulse and that changes its state from on to off or off to on like a T flip flop. And, oh, that's kind of cool. And that's it. So there. And same command. There we go. 
Um, I hope it has enough strength. Maybe not. I think it does. Uh, yes, maybe. Okay, so, uh, okay. what would you like to save in our register? Uh, 128. 128. Okay. So, currently we can't save it yet because the save instruction is not on. So I'll hit the save instruction. And now it's saved. Oh. Oh, that's painful. Oh, also this has to be inverted. Yikes. Okay. Um... There we go. Okay, so we have 128 saved. So now I can unflick this lever and it's still there. And uh, then if I hit the load button, there we go. Uh, the problem with this is that we can now save and load at the same time. I'm not sure if that's really an issue, but... No, that's not an issue. That's actually perfect. That's how it's supposed to work, I think. But yeah, lightning fast. Uh, register. So the, the, the comparator is just there to stop the output from... Or stop it from outputting if the load is off, so then this, then all the repeaters power the comparators, so then the comparators never output anything. And then here you have locked repeaters that very quickly unlock due to this circuit, where for like one tick, I think, one redstone tick, the comparator can output before it gets turned off by this redstone here because of this repeater. Uh, so very quickly pulses this entire tower to very quickly unlock and then lock again all the repeaters so that it, it, it then gets the new states from the input. That's pretty cool. 8-bit register. Okay, so we I can either make a counter or a 1-bit decoder. Ooh, we're getting into decoding. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, we are doing really well. Okay, uh, what, do you, what do you reckon? Decoder or uh, Which counter? One you're more I want to get into decoding. I think. All right, create a component that can switch a signal between two pins. So I have an input. This is just a not gate, isn't it? No, wait. Uh, for input two, it's just this. And then for input one, it's just a not gate. Okay, well, uh, that's, that's, that's easy. Anyway, uh, this, this is the decoder. It's really simple. Uh, if I did capture it, I'll just cut this out. And if not, then here you go. One bit decoder, super simple. Yes. And then my explanation is yes. gone. Whatever. All right. Uh, it was a good explanation. True. Um, I'll just overlay some other footage over it or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Little box. Oh, no. <gasps> yeah. Let's finish on that one. Mm, okay, but we're not we're not finishing yet. So we'll, hmm? we'll, we'll, we're, we're, we're not doing our last puzzle yet. But yeah, we'll, we'll finish on that one. That one scares sure? me. Yeah. Because that one takes a while. So if you oh, want to do true. that one. That's true. That's true. Um, I, I think we've already been going for like 15 minutes. We have, yeah. yeah. 55. Um, or we leave that for next episode. I think it's a banger finish result for today. Yeah. Thing is, though, I, it's I, a very it fun me. challenge. <laughs> nah, I can help you in that. It's no easy. Yeah, but also just the Minecraft version. All right, you ah, know what? Uh, we'll do it. Don't worry about it, Tristan. Come on. Can you fit four bytes of four memory in this limited space? Yes. So that's the thing. In Minecraft, we're not limiting our space. No. We're just going to build a four, uh, or like we, we're just going to build a thing that has four byte uh, storage thingies. Okay, so we have a load and a not load. <laughs> we have a save and a not save. Yep. We have A or B, and one or zero or one, and that those are addresses uh, for the different memory. Uh, stuffs. So I'm just going to. We we need eight bit registers, four of them. So then let's say this one is um, 
Oh, I could just give it a value? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, so let's say this one is uh, going to be um, zero, zero. So then... Um, Hmm. How does that work? Um okay, either way this has this one has to go into every every one of them. I'll make this one purple, sure. Like that. Then uh, we need to save. Okay, I'm going. To, I'm going to need three ants, I think. Oh my god, these these components are huge. What am I supposed to do about this? This is not fair. Oh my god. How many ants do you think we need, Kirsten? Uh, I don't wish to discuss this. Uh, okay, and then for this one, I'm going to need a double knot. For this one, I'm going to need. Uh, wait. I don't want purple for this. Think this, out. think this out. I am thinking this out. For what are you using the end case? Uh, to, to figure out if I should or should not save to that address. Okay. And then what's the top input of the 8-bit re register? Load. How do you determine that? Oh my god. What on earth? Um What? How am I su what? Okay. Um let's start with the real basic stuff. The load. The load is this ugly thing. Um. There we go. And then I also need to... Oh. Great. Where to all of these, but only with the proper address. I don't even remember what you did with your contraption. And that's perfect. That's all going on. So, there are multiple ways to do this. I've seen people I don't use... Have space, though. Uh, after I made my uh, own solution, I've seen people do this on multiple ways. And all of them are very funny. One has spammed the switch. The switch? The one bit switch and two decoders. And that's everything they've used in this puzzle. What? <laughs> I don't know how they've done it and how it works, but it looks so incredibly fun. True, actually, a decoder would be actually pretty smart. Now, there is also other people that have done it with... Uh, da, 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 where was that fun solution? Uh, I'll, I'll just save that one image there. I think that's pretty funny. Um, okay, so then... These two, this one and this one, uh, both have to go somehow in two AND gates into the save and load. Maybe a switch is better. Um, so I can have like a... a hmm. I put an AND gate into a switch and the switch is only on if I want to save or load. 
You know what? Perfect. Extra chance. Just finish the puzzle with only using switches from now on. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Why not? It's no. <laughs> no. Um, so, let's say this is save, right? Then, this. This is a mess. There we go. Um, okay, and then I need an AND gate. Oh my god. I don't have enough space for this. Switch is smaller than an AND gate. Yep, okay, it switches. So, um... I really don't have enough space for this. What? What's wrong with cooking? There we go. I am being intelligent. Though it is debatable. Okay, um... This thing is intense, what the hell? Okay, so that's all the different loads. Okay, um, and this saves. Goes like that. Wait, I'm almost there. I will okay. not say this right now, you have a clearer solution than I do. Yeah. Although, I find mine to be awfully satisfying. Fair. Imagine fitting eight triple end gates in this. I'm gonna have to use different colors for this. How on earth do you fit eight triple end? What on earth, dude? Uh, I'll send you the screenshots and I'm not going for that solution. You can put it in the video. This is what peak wiring looks like. Oh Can't right, you had. Oh, that thing is a nightmare. Oh my god. What on earth? Um, hang on. I've for I've forgotten actually. Uh, well, first of all, why am I not using this space? Um, gonna store that away for now. Okay, um, so this one is A0, so both not. And this one will be A1. So then this one has to be one. So this one has to go to there. And then we have uh, B0 and then B1. So this one also goes there. Then we have the other version, which goes to there and there. Beautiful. This solution is so much more straight, so much more straightforward than yours. Yep. Wow. Okay. To be fair, it basically does the same. Oh yeah, absolutely. Which is uh, smaller. Uh, so this one is there and there.
Um, I see an issue. I'm now talking to two addresses at the same time. Oh, I'm an idiot. Right? Yeah. I just swapped these around accidentally. That one goes there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this one goes there. Oh my god. So now if I were to say save, then it will go to the top one. If I say load, then it's also talking to the top one. Right? Oh, I didn't connect that. My brain is unmatched. Now what? Oh my god. Beautiful. I think this thing works. No, it doesn't. What? Oh no. Oh no. How do I decode? What? How do I figure out what happened? Oh, wait. I do not wish to discuss this. Oh, so I can make this thing even more compact. Beautiful. Look, look at this extra space. I can put a box here. Beautiful person. Here's done it. Oh my god. Congratulations. This slavery and technically illegal. <laughs> That's why we instead had our intern create this 256 byte version of your component. Oh my god. Uh, we are not building the 256 byte RAM component. <laughs> we are not? Jeez. I think we have to. <laughs> oh my god, look at this beautiful thing. That is gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Um Huh. That is a nightmare. That is nightmare fuel right there. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Yikes. All right, let's do it in Minecraft. Let's go. Here's the most current version I've seen of this. What? <laughs> How? Oh, you're using multiplexers. At the end. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's insane. That's ridiculous. All right, whatever. You screenshot this entire area. Yeah, so I know. Basically, is using half. Oh my god. Like, how? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so I have a plan. Oh god. Uh, first of all, we build this thing in the air. Again. <laughs> yeah, no. For big contraptions, that's really the only way you can go. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. This is the input. This is the value. So let's try to stick to the color coding that I've used because that seems logical. Purple. Wool. Is this one. Okay. Um, oh my god. I think we might have to work like genuinely backwards. Like start at the output. Interesting. Um... Because then we can start with putting registers there. 
and then wire everything to the registers. You know? That could work. Uh, problem is, I don't know where to put the output point. Well, wherever you want, no? And we just have to write it towards? Well, yes, but I, we need to give ourselves enough space is my problem. This is enough space, right? We just need an address and uh, save or load, which we theoretically could also put on the other side, maybe. I'm not really sure. Save or load, an A or B, and a zero or one. Yeah. So the address, which is two levers. Okay, that is the output. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Again, I'm going to use purple because that is still like the 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 va the value line is purple. Okay. Right. Okay, next up, I want to build the... You want to build a snowman? Oh my god. Uh -huh. We... Um... Hello there. Hello. Okay, so this would be the save signal. Yeah, I don't think we have enough space. That would not be optimal. Agreed. Maybe we need to cram in a little more, you know, make a little box as well. No. It's kind of a challenge. Let's not. Technically, it is the challenge. Yeah, and technically, you should shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you no. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're telling me is we need four of these constructions. Yes. Hold work. Yeah. And the fun thing is now we wire everything up to here. Like that. If we say A1, then that one is on. And if we say A0, then that one is on. Oh my god, I think this thing works. I think we're ready. Perfect. So, you want to test it? Absolutely. I'll go look in the construction. Okay, so let's start off by storing uh, 32. 
Um, we're going to save that. In... We're saving it in four places simultaneously. No, we're not. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go on. Um, we're going to save it, let's say, in... Uh, I'm going to change the sign. So that it's more clear what, what, what the difference is. So I'm going to save it in B0. Okay. Which should be uh, the third register. Third. Okay. I'm going to hit save. And indeed, it did. Oh, what on earth? Oh, we're idiots. <laughs> That's how you lock a, a repeater. Not with just redstone. So that's on you. What do you mean that's I'm, on me? I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> you didn't world uh, that properly. No, I did. It's just world edit sometimes just sucks. Uh, so that's still good. Nothing being stored there where it shouldn't. It's being stored here because I wanted it to be stored here. But here, again, same story. Uh, it accidentally got stored because it shouldn't have. Okay, so I now, think I fixed the last. One. Yeah, cool. So uh, that means that it has now been saved in register uh, B zero. So now I want to store something in A one, and that is going to be uh, one. Sure, save it. Why should I see if it's stored in B zero? Uh, B uh, no, I'm saying A one, which is the second register. I see uh, one being stored. Oh, in but two as well. What? Oh my god. So we've saved uh, 32 in register three. Yep. And we've saved one in register two. So in register zero, I wish to save. Oh, I accidentally saved one already. Uh, I want to save eight. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Uh, I think it's better if we don't have the save be a, a, a toggle. You sure? Yeah, sure? Yeah, I think I think that might be better. So I'm gonna quickly uh, fix that. Um, okay, and now let's read some values. So I'm gonna enable the load. And in register zero, the number eight has been stored. Then if I go over to register A1, which is the second one, one has been stored. And if I go to B0, then 32 has been stored. And if I go to B1, well, nothing was stored there. It works. It actually works. Wait, okay. Oh, I'm, yeah, high I'm five. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, high five. Let's go. I'm going to quickly save a different value in B1. And I'm going to load it. There we go. Oh my god. This thing is beautiful. This is by far the best contraption I have ever made in Minecraft. Same. Awesome. All right. We're going to leave it there. Yeah. This, this thing is sick. An that is ridiculous. This episode is two hours of recording. Oh my god. Good luck with the editing. Come Thanks. Free. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, again, videos will slow down, especially since this is a very long one. Uh, videos are slowing down because of university and uh, me having a life. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's 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 the truth. It's a necessity. So uh, thanks everyone for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.